guys welcome back again to my channel Dami Dimension my name is Dami today's video is going to be another golden rule pattern tutorial and right here is a skirt we are going to be making in this video if you flip to the back of this page you will find the pattern this is number 54 flip to the back you find 54 D right here. So this is the pattern that we need. I do have a video on how you can transfer this pattern to your actual size I will post the link at the end of this video or in the description box So please check that out so you know how I rescale this pattern from this tiny piece to my actual size So right here are my pattern all rescaled and drafted out check out that video Like I said, I have my front piece and my back piece right here here and I also have facing for the back and facing for the front yeah something like this <laughs> facing for the front and facing for the back just like it is on the pattern and as you can see I have used the pattern to cut out my fabric what I did was I placed the pattern on my fabric and I cut out two pieces for the front because the zipper is going to be on the front and I added my seam allowance of course zipper allowance, hemming allowance, side seam allowance and you know just add all your necessary allowances ditto to the one for the back and for the back I cut it on fold because the back is not going to have any joint it's going to be a straight single piece for the back and the facing as well the facing for the back is one straight piece I cut it on fold as well. I ensured that I fold in my dart. This is a dart that is on the pattern. If you check out the pattern here, you see a dart right here. Okay, so I folded in the, the dart this way and then I use it to cut out my facing. This hashed portion right here, can you see that this little hashed portion right here is the facing and the same on the front as well this little hashed portion is the facing so we are going to get started with the joining which is the whole point of this video <laughs> right so the first thing i'm going to do is to transfer this dart onto my fabric this is a method i like to use i just grab a pen i poke a hole onto this portion then i use a chalk just to place a mark from that hole onto my fabric so I get the hole. I've already done it actually, but I'm just explaining what I did. So from the hole, I transfer some dot of chalk onto my fabric. And from there, I use my scissors to cut here and here. Then I connect just like that with my chalk. Okay, so then I have my dart here. I also transfer it on here because it's two darts on the left and the right side of my back. I said I cut it on fold, right? So if I open it up, I have something that looks like this so i have my two dart and that is the very first thing i'm going to be going to stitch down i'll take it to my machine this way you know how we stitch down at that right take it to the machine like this and i'll stitch it down i will repeat the same onto this side as well i'll stitch it down so i have done that i've stitched down the dart it looks like this on the right side it looks like this and i'm going to set that aside and I will be working on the front. These are my two front panels and I am going to be using this zipper, open-ended zipper in this case, because if you look at the design, I mean, that's the best thing to use, right? Open-ended zipper. So that's what I'm going to be using. And as you can see, my zipper is super long, which doesn't matter. So. I am going to be showing you how to insert the zipper right now. I have my fabric placed right side facing up, right side facing up, and my zipper. Since the zipper is too long, we are going to be cutting it off from the top. Okay, so I have my skirt pieces here. I went ahead and ironed in my seam allowance. 
you can see that also on this side so what i'm going to do this is the zipper i need to fix right so i will fold in the zipper allowance and kind of pretend as if it's done like place it the way i want it to look like once i'm done stitching folding my zipper allowance here as well and place it the way i want it to look when i'm done you know this is how i want it to look when i'm done right so then i'm going to flip here then i will pick the zipper allowance and the zipper now and i'm going to now pin both of them together just like this you see all right so now it looks like this here and i will repeat the same thing on this side first place it like the way i want it to look then i will access it from the back and pick up the two zipper allowances together that's the way that i just like to do it and it just works for me so then i'll pin both of them together i'm pinning both the zipper and the zipper allowance together so once i'm done pinning it down and i open it up i will have it looking like this just like i would want it to look like right you see so then i will just take it to my machine and since i already have a crease from the iron so then i'll just take it to my machine and stitch on this crease So I have stitched that down and this is what it's looking like at the moment and at the back you see this is what it looks like. As you can see I didn't have to completely separate my open ended zipper just so I can stitch it down. If that works for you, if that's how you prefer to do it, you can do that. But the reason why I don't prefer that method is it's easy for your skirts to go longer than each other like for your zipper to mix something like to have something like this so this is how i do it super easy quick and convenient so i have my front panel on the table right side facing up i will bring in my back panel right side facing it so right sides facing each other put them together and by the way you could do this um surgeon later so you can surge it together okay so i'll put them together like this and i'm going to be stitching i'll trim off this excess or i can just put in a little bit of that to take care of that excess and even give it a better shape okay so once that is done i will do my side i'll put it together and stitch my side together like this with my seam allowance and the same on this side you can use the seam allowance you put or whatever makes the skirt fit for you so once that is done I will be working on the facing as well so my back facing is a single piece I'll put it down right side facing up then I will put the front facing right sides facing each other as well just like we did to the main panels and I'm going to be stitching by the same seam allowance as well on the side seam so I'll have one whole piece so for that little excess, I tried to put it that, but I just don't like it because it makes the front look like a back, you know, because the zipper is on the front. So I get the reason why the golden rule didn't put a dart in the front for the pattern. So it kind of makes the front look like a back just because the zipper is in the front. That's the design. So I tried the dart, but I'm going to be taking it out now. I don't like it. And I'm just going to trim off the excess instead. So I have stitched it out on the side and here is the band. It's been stitched down on the side as well all right so what i'm going to do next i will flip my skirt to the right side so after having my skirt on the right side i will grab my facing as well i will place right sides facing each other and i will start matching you can start matching from the center or you can start matching from the side seam but it's just important for you to match up all your seams And for this part, I will bring out my seam allowance and I will pin it like this. 
So once I'm done pinning, I will take it to my machine this way and I'm going to be stitching it down all the way through okay and when i get to this zipper area i will come here and stitch down here i repeat the same thing on this side as well stitch down towards my zipper so now that that has been stitched i will turn it to the right side so i will go and give this a press so we see how it looks like all right so that has been done and this is what it's currently looking like so clean beautiful 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 skirt by the way if you guys want to get this print i'll post a link to the fabric shop in the description box they are gorgeous 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 print fabrics there go check it out i hope you see something that you like for this upper part here you can give it the top stitch if you want if you don't want then we are basically true with this skirt i will try it on and show you guys the finished result if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel for awesome tutorials like this i show you how to make patterns from scratch i also make go roll videos like this and so on and so forth on the channel hit the like button subscribe and let me catch you in the next video bye the truth is a damn hard pill to swallow I'm reaching out, but all I feel is hollow. I wanna make you work, but all I do is make you worse. The truth is a damn hard pill to swallow. Empty hearts and